New at five, mahi mahi is a popular fish to eat in Hawaii. But have you ever wondered what they eat? No, researchers are teaming up with local fishers to find out. Mahi mahi are caught year round in Hawaii. They're a good eating fish and popular in restaurants. And some fishers, like Mati Creedler, are sharing their catch. Here's part of a squid. Anglers are donating the stomachs of mahi mahi to NOAA researchers. Fishermen themselves are often scientists. They they want to know what their fish are eating that they're catching. We want mahi to be here for generations to come, and to ensure that, we need to make sure that their habitat, their essential fish habitat, um, is there and helps them. And part of that is their diet. So this guy has a bunch of trigger fishes and couple of other things. Researchers have identified more than 500 different types of prey using a machine that determines DNA. After two years of analyzing more than 300 mahi-mahi stomachs, they found there is one fish in particular the mahi-mahi like to eat. We're seeing quite a large number of goatfish. Um, both the malu and moano are pretty commonly observed in the stomachs. What we're finding is that healthy reefs feed pelagic predators even far offshore, including the mahi-mahi. So juvenile stages of reef fish spend their first couple weeks to months out offshore, and they're actually helping to feed these big predators that we rely on for fisheries. Based on NOAA's findings, fishers can modify the color of their lures to match what the mahi-mahi are biting at this time, baby goldfish. And there's another incentive for fishers to keep this valuable research going. For every 10 mahi-mahi stomachs turned in, Noah will give fishermen a $50 gift card to a local fishing store and some knowledge on how to catch more mahi-mahi. The more data they can get, the better, and the better it will help them to, to take care of the oceans and, and the reef, and the better it helps us because then, again, we know how to better target those fish. Well, so far, more than 60 anglers have participated. And if you're interested, email pifsc.info at noaa.gov. Super interesting. Yeah. So did they find any microplastics in the stomachs? Yes, I asked about that. And the lead researcher actually says she was surprised at the lack of plastics that she found. She said it was fewer than 1%, which shows that uh, plastics are not a prevalent food item for mahi-mahi. Wow. Yeah. All right. So much stuff.